Hello, I want to give you a quick demo today of some of the other storage device options and configuration possibilities when setting up partitions in Enterprise Vault. This is the third video in a five-part series of videos covering some of the different aspects of storage. The Enterprise Vault server can write to many different storage devices as the slide shows. The list is almost constantly growing over time and the compatibility list should be the first place to take a look if you want to determine whether a particular device is supported. The list also covers versions of particular devices where appropriate along with versions of Enterprise Vaults that are supported. Over here you see my new partition wizard in the VAC. The type of device that you choose will determine the things that the Vault Store Partition Wizard asks you for. For example, if I select a NetApp device, you can see now it asks me additional questions. Snaplock mode, data deduplication and compression. If you select the box saying that the device does deduplication, then Enterprise Vault will store the file in its native format and it will not be stored with the normal storage savings that Enterprise Vault gives. If you select the box saying that the device does compression, then Enterprise Vault won't attempt any kind of compression. This will save some CPU cycles on the EV server. The types of information that are asked for in the new partition wizard will depend on the type of device that you specify. Here you can see I'm choosing network share and on the next page I'm entering the location of the share and there's just a couple of different options that are given to me for this type of storage device. Here you can see the screen that shows the connectivity test. One of the things that the Vault Store Partition Wizard does here is to check connectivity with the device. It's obviously not an exact indicator, but it does give you an idea of what the round trip time to the device might be. You need to ensure that the connectivity is excellent, reliable and fast, or there will be many problems with the environment going forward. As we saw in the earlier video, you can try to skip the connectivity test, but Enterprise Vault will warn you. If you run the connectivity test, these are the sorts of results that you get. In this part of the Vault Store Partition Wizard, you're asked whether the device allows access control lists. Creating partitions and writing the archived data to a partition is more secure with ACLs. Sometimes a particular device may not support this though, or it may be turned off on the configuration of the device. If that's the case, uncheck this box, but be sure to secure the data per the device's recommendations and instructions. It's recommended to do ACL permissions unless you know for sure the device doesn't support it. In summary then, you can see that Enterprise Vault supports a broad range of different storage devices. The list's constantly growing and you should refer to the compatibility list for full details. Certification and support is down to specific revisions of both the device and the Enterprise Vault. The new partition wizard runs a connectivity test which helps prevent problems getting to the storage device. And access control lists can help secure the archived data. I hope that showing you some other storage options and configuration details is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.